Coach Me Expert members and welcome to this month expert interview. I'm Dori Sukup, founder of Inspiration Management and I am here this month to share with you uh, some great content. I have a great interview for you with Michael Dinkins. But before I start with introducing Michael, I have just a couple of things to go over with you. Uh, this month we're actually going to be talking about um, how to use technology to improve your business and make a lot more money. So this is a big, big topic. I've never actually discussed this topic with you. So I'm super excited to have Michael join us and actually give us all his expertise and knowledge on how to make that uh, an important part of your business model and how it can be an important part to help you generate more revenue. But before I start, I want to welcome all the new Coach Me Expert members. As you know, this is a complimentary coaching memberships that we offer. And just so you know, we meet every last Tuesday of every month at 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, you can join us live or you can go to iTunes or uh, actually inspirationmanagement.com and you'll be able to actually uh, view previous interviews that we have had. I have actually brought to you some great, great folks that are so knowledgeable and such expertise to help you and I hope that you're taking advantage of that. So let me go ahead and introduce Michael to you and get started. Michael Dinkins, he's a business technology expert whose passion is to help business owners make sense of technology and how it benefits your business. He helps people like you with their communication needs. He does it through telephone systems and he's been doing it since 1991. So he knows all the ins and outs of that process. He's actually also involved in other technology companies and he also supports startup and existing businesses with their technology operations and business consulting and mentorship. Michael is an RCDD certified, which designates that he has demonstrated his knowledge in design, implementation, and integration of IT systems and related infrastructure. Michael has co-authored a technology book called Under Attack, highlights his technical business solutions unlimited. He resides actually in Florida. He's not too far from us. He's in Lakeland and he's married to uh, his great wife who I've had the pleasure to meet, Donna, but I have not met their cat, Benjamin, yet. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to meeting <laughs> Benjamin. <laughs> so if you're with us live and you'd like to ask some questions, feel free to send them to Dory at inspirationmanagement.com and we're gonna try to leave some time at the end to ask questions. All right, so let me start with the content we're going to go over today and then we'll dive right in. The first thing I'm going to actually start with is why technology is so important for your business. And I'm going to share all the problems that a business owner has right now if they don't have the right technology. Then we're going to go into the latest uh, phone system technologies that's available for you today and how it can help your business, how to choose the right one for your business, what mistakes you should avoid, how using the phone as a training tool will help you grow your business so much more, and then we're going to wrap up with uh, how to promote your business while you're on hold because many people totally miss out the hold message opportunity, so I'm going to give you some tips on that. And then we're gonna leave some time for questions. So welcome, Michael, it's so great to have you with us. Thank you, Dory, it's good to be here. Yeah, I'm super excited about this uh, conversation with you because it's something that is so needed in our industry and many people are totally missing out on the opportunities that they have using technologies to grow their business. So I just wanna give you a quick synopsis of what goes on in the spa and medi spa world so you can best help everybody. So I'm gonna start with some problems we usually have in the industry. 
So one of the biggest problem I see, Michael, is with the guest relations department. That's your receptionist department. So here's a MediSpa or a spa that spends thousands and thousands of dollars on marketing. And then the phone rings and the person that's answering the phone, in most cases, now there are some that do a great job, but in most cases, they're not so well trained or they're not converting those calls as effectively as they could so that's one area for technology that we can definitely address today is how to improve the conversion rate the other one is uh, many hold messages like i just mentioned they don't have anything they're just like holding there's no way to really promote the business or what's going on within their uh, promotions or specials that they could be informing the caller who is on hold. The other problem is they don't get to hear what the guest relations person is actually saying on the phone. There's no way to record the calls and use it as a training tool. So therefore they can't help the team as much as they could uh, mm -hmm. while they're communicating with the guest. So those are just some, and there are much more that I'll be sharing with you, but that just gives you an idea of what is going on with, uh, with the industry as far as the uh, phone technology is concerned. So why don't we start with that? Why don't we start with uh, what is the latest uh, in phone system technologies? Well, right now the latest, and you probably see some advertisements on TV from uh, different VoIP providers, is all uh, cloud-based telephone systems. Uh, a lot of things have moved up to the cloud. You watch uh, Microsoft's uh, commercials, they're moving, everything is in the cloud. And that is the way that all the telephone systems are slowly moving to the cloud too, because the internet has evolved so much and the technology has evolved that we're able to do it effectively uh, uh, reliably within the cloud, which really the cloud is just a data center, uh, being able to do it that way so where there's more capabilities that there was not there 10 years ago. Okay. So do you want to go into some of these capabilities that make the cloud a better phone system than the regular traditional phone system? Yeah, the, the one thing I, I love about the cloud system is, oh no, my internet just went down. Okay, well, with a cloud-based telephone system, you're still getting calls coming in. They're still being routed. So if you have uh, other ways of being able to catch the phone, like on a cell phone or uh, call routing set up, is the person would never know that your internet service went down or even say you lost power to the spot. That would be something else that it's like, okay, the normal traditional phone system down where the cloud based is they're put into a data center where it has redundant internet connections power everything so where it's never going to fail and it allows the calls to still come in and still get the same feeling as if they were calling into your office mm -hmm. so it, it, it makes everything so much better than what it was mm, nice now the reason let me back up a little bit and tell everybody how we met so Michael and I belong to the same mastermind group. We spend literally thousands and thousands of dollars improving our businesses and our education and marketing and all that. And one day we actually happened to sit next to each other and we struck up a conversation. And I started finding out what Michael does and I was starting to tell him what I do. And uh, it just, the whole process seemed so intriguing to me that I decided to have Michael come and switch all of our phone systems over to actually what he offers. And I have to tell you, um, it has made such a difference uh, for our business. And I'll go into it a little bit more in depth here in a, in a minute. But it really has changed the way we do business in my office. And I just totally love the, the transition and the the entire progress that we have made so how would somebody know like where would you start how would somebody know where to go and like what to look for or do's and don'ts can you kind of give us an overview because i was totally 
you know, in the woods, basically, when you started talking to me, I had no idea what you were talking about. <laughs> so I'm sure a lot of people yeah. feel the same way. So can enlighten us. Tell us a little bit why we should look into this. Well, the with besides the technology of being always on, always there, always accessible, there's so much of additional features that you can use within the phone system that allows it to uh, provide better customer service, better customer experience, and also accountability. Um, with the customer, you know, experience, it's like, okay, is uh, what is being said to the customers when they first call the your office? I know when I call Inspiration, it's like, you know, it has a very nice lady on there saying, this call may be monitored for calling purposes, and then gets, a, gets me a live person. And it's all about the feel of how does that how does that feel to the person calling in? Mm -hmm. And that's that's what the, a cloud based system will do with the technology is you can make it route different ways to depending upon what telephone number they call, what kind of message they receive. Just the possibilities uh, are limitless on how you can make it work and how it can be applied to a business. What that what is the question there. What I like about it is being able to customize the experience, I guess, would be a good way to put oh, it, yes. right? So you can yep. decide yep. what exactly you want the experience to be like and what they want to do. But I have to tell you, my favorite part of this system is uh, the opportunity to actually promote. So if somebody's on hold, I mean, we try not to put people on hold, of course, but sometimes to transfer a call or... Uh, to get people to the right place. There's sometimes uh, you're on the phone with somebody, especially in a medi spa or a spa, they're trying to check somebody in, checking somebody out, the phone is ringing. I mean, you're trying to do all these, wear all these different hats, and sometimes you can't help but put someone on hold. And part of my favorite part of this program is being able to keep them engaged on the phone while they're on hold. And what I love is being able to tell them about what's new, maybe give them a tip, um, the ability to change that message as often as you want. So it makes the whole experience so much nicer than just, oh, here we go, we have some elevator music going on. Yeah, and that's, and that's the thing, it's like there's so many phone systems out there that you hear just the, you hear a tone like a dun-dun every few seconds to just make sure that, hey, yeah, I'm still alive, you're still on hold, and that's really it. And for me, when I call someplace like that, it's like, oh, that's such an opportunity to engage in better marketing, to inform your clients, to let them know that it's like, hey, we do other things besides just this one thing. Here's, 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 here's other specials that we're doing this month and here's other programs that are available for you and it's, it's not being told it's like it's missed mis marketing mm -hmm. for sure yep all right so let's talk a little bit about um, you know some of the other benefits that this kind of technology can offer and one of the big things for me is using it as a training tool you know we are a training and business development company so training runs through my veins <laughs> and it's so important to me to be able to download the phone calls or go and listen to the phone calls and then use it as a training tool so i was doing a private uh, webinar the other day for one of our coach me platinum members and this was with the guest relations uh, they call them guest coordinators so i was sitting there doing my webinar talking to them and I was asking them what was their biggest challenge. And she said, well, my biggest challenge is probably overcoming uh, pricing. With When people call and ask, well, how much is Botox or how much is fillers or how much is cool sculpting? So I said, okay, how do you usually overcome it? And she told me. And then I knew that they had this phone system with the recording and we had already planned this with the spa manager, the Medi spa manager to download some of the phone calls that they had because what she told me how she handled it 
and when I said okay let's do this let's listen to one of the phone calls and see how this is usually handled and what we heard on the phone is nothing like what she told me she did <laughs> in front of everybody else yeah. so it is such a great tool to have to be able to let them listen back to themselves because sometimes they don't hear themselves the proper way so how does that work okay, tell us with this technology how that actually works yeah, what, what happens is, is on the, within the system, it records all of your incoming calls and uh, basically archives them to a MP3 file that you can later download. There is the capability of also listening, listening live to a live conversation. So if you're sitting back in your back office, you could essentially be watching a computer screen and saying, okay, there's a call coming in and the front reception has picked it up and you could basically go on your computer, click a button, and listen to it live. So where at that time, you can go out there and do instant training to that person and correct a, uh, a bad situation and make it a better situation. Mm -hmm. And that's something with the technology, you can easily go in there and do that. And you could also, you could essentially also barge into the phone conversation and correct it right then if you really wanted to go that far but a lot of a lot of call centers they prefer to do the training after the fact yes versus doing it at the same time yeah we for don't sure want to listen in just to make sure yeah we don't want to barge in on conversations that would not be <laughs> that would not be very good no. but i can imagine i can imagine though in call call centers they probably do that <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's like, you know, Big Brother is listening. <laughs> yeah. You know. Okay, so what I would recommend um, for people uh, who are listening, if you don't have uh, a way to record the phone calls, you're totally missing out on such opportunities to make your training uh, much more effective and much more targeted to what exactly the team needs and to be able to just get on the, pull up any random phone calls and either recognize them because this this can be also as a promotional uh, rewarding way because if you hear a great phone call that was handled properly then it's your opportunity to actually say great job you handled this in a great manner or you could have done this or that a little bit differently so it makes a big big difference so training is definitely a very uh, valuable part of this, using it as a training tool. Now, the other thing I would highly recommend is every time you do this training, you guys, I'm just gonna give you a little side tip here. I would recommend that you personally record the training as you going over this with them and start building your tra training library with your team. And that way, you don't have to keep repeating yourself. You'll be able to just simply dial in and train the, uh, record the call, right, Michael? And then you can download it and put it as part of your archive, correct? Yes, and they have all the uh, all the recordings are all archived for uh, really as long as you have the, the call recording service. Right. So, yeah, so they can be archived and then and the thing, and again, it's like it's, it's uh, when you hire someone new, does the owner have that, that much time to go through and train them for everything? Instead, they could sit down and listen to call examples to get themselves familiar with how the call flow should work, how to deal with, uh, um, uh, we don't call it frequently asked questions or uh, uh, obstacles that they're going to face to be able to sell mm -hmm. a new service to that person. Yeah, like certain objections that come up over and over and over and how to handle them. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So we actually have a lot of tools that will go hand in hand in what we're talking about. Uh, we actually have a guest relations uh, audio that people can download and listen to. And we also have the uh, guest relations operating manual that has all sorts of scripts and things they should say and not say so if you already have this manual then what you could do is keep building onto it 
by actually recording some of these training sessions and then put them as addition in your uh, reception manual. That way, again, you're not reinventing your training over and over and over. Once you do it and you start training on the most common objections, how to handle price objection or price requests, uh, how to greet the call, how to do call management, all these things are very important to your business. And if you don't have the proper phone system, then you're really missing out on this whole training component that you can do to help your business make a lot more money. Right. So The thing is, it's like when you don't sit there and monitor something, you don't know what's going on because then you're, just, you're seeing other, you're seeing results if things are not being monitored. You mm -hmm. may see your sales slowly going down, whereas you're monitoring it and people know that they're being monitored, then they, they tend to be doing better. They mm -hmm. want to sit there and do exactly what's asked of them. Yes. Yeah, because they know uh, the big brother is watching, right? <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> all right, so let's talk a little bit about the marketing components. We'll go over all the benefits first, and then we'll get into maybe some more of the nitty-gritty. Now, the other thing you had me do, Michael, is uh, you gave me a phone number that we put on our website so we can monitor what phone calls are coming uh, through the website in order to see how effective our marketing efforts are. And I just absolutely right. love, love that process because before we just had a bunch of phone calls come to our main line. You know, we were with AT&T before and we, we had no way of really tracking where the calls were coming from. So you gave us a separate number that we put on our website and now I can actually run a report and find out exactly how many phone calls came directly from the website due to our SEO efforts, our marketing efforts, and it's just it's such a nice thing to have. So can you elaborate a little bit more on how that actually works? Because I have no idea how it works. I just know that it works. <laughs> yeah. Well, what the, what the system does is you have different numbers, as you said, for your website. And then once the call comes in, it's still handled like all the other calls. But what we've done is, uh, besides having a separate number, we can also track when the person's answering the phone, they know that it's like, oh, this person has called from the website. Okay, well, we can also, besides just the website, you can use that, you can get additional numbers, which they're only a couple dollars a month, and add it to your, say you're getting ready to do a, a big mailer, and you're, you're sending it out to your current customers, and you have it have them call that number, then you can see the effectiveness of that mail campaign. Or if you send an email out and say, hey, mention this code here when you schedule, uh, then also tracks that type of a code too. And it still, it still shows in, the, in a portal how many phone calls you're getting from it. And then you can go through and listen to the calls again, like we talked about before, and see, make sure that they're, they're trying to do the upsell. It's like, okay, mm -hmm. we have a special for this, but then we want to sit there and really upgrade them to the next package because it's it's just a few dollars more but it doesn't cost the owner anything more to deliver that other package than the, the, the lower package <laughs> so it's a way to track all of that because what's not what's not if you don't track it then it's not going to grow mm -hmm. and we want every, we want all our clients to grow so you you've got to track it right I'll tell you what I just did you'll be proud of me because I'm a good student like you <laughs> so what we did with that information because we activated this like a month ago I guess or so so we gave the list to my uh, receptionist and we had her go through all the phone numbers that were called in to measure our whether first of all whether they're new callers or whether they're existing clients and then what we did is we took the ones that were brand new and then saw how we converted those, if they actually became clients or not, or what happened with these phone calls. So it's a great way to uh, monitor your sales efforts because marketing did their job getting the phone to ring, but how did we do converting that call into a sale? And I mean, you can drill down, you guys. This is so incredibly important for your business. You can find out 
which calls came in that were not already Medi Spa or spa clients and then be able to see which calls came in that did not reserve an appointment and then what happened. You can go then and listen to those phone calls and be able to find out why we missed those valuable opportunities. I mean, that by itself, to me, is worth gold. It's just, it's so incredible to be able to pinpoint to exactly how we missed the sale and what can we do to improve it. That's just genius. I love that feature. Yeah. Yep, and you can go back and look at all the call progression of that one client because you have their telephone number and look at all the call recordings to see how all the interaction was and see if there's something that that didn't get said just right that caused them not to convert. Mm -hmm. So that's, mm -hmm. yeah, something to look at. Great. Well, we definitely, you know how I love numbers, so we're definitely looking at that. Mm -hmm. So it's very important. Yep. All right, so how would someone go about to like find out what kind of system is available or how to choose the right system? Because if I didn't have you, frankly, I probably would have kept doing what I was doing because I didn't know any better. Right. I mean, as far as choosing a system, I mean, I, I, I do VoIP myself and I the way I do, I, I feel like I do it probably the best way because I've, I've been in the industry for so long that I want to make sure that the customer is happy. I want to make sure that the phone is functioning the way that it needs to function for that office because, and that's one thing with VoIP is a lot of people want to sell you VoIP, but they want to do it in a way that's like, oh, here's your phone and then buy, that's it. Instead of saying, okay, here's your phone. Now, how does this phone work within your office? How do you take calls? How do you interact with that phone? Because that's what's most important because if you don't get that interaction correct, you basically get people who, oh, I hate this system, mm -hmm. I hate it. And it's like, no, it's actually good. It's just a matter if it's applied correctly. And, you know, try to do, try not to sit there, I guess you could say ruffle too many feathers because a lot of people don't like change and make it so where it's okay. It's almost like your phone that you already had. It's just the buttons are in a little bit different places, but it still has the same functionality. Mm -hmm. And that's where a lot of, a lot of carrier, a lot of VoIP companies, they, they miss that mark because the phone can do so much and I'm, I'm, I'm still learning about the features of, a, of, a, of the system that I can have it do all this fancy stuff and it's like, well, I haven't come into a, a situation where a customer needs it, but it's going to be in the back of my head so where I remember it for a future client. Mm -hmm. But the system can do so much. Right. So how does it... Um, can anybody have this kind of system or do you have to have special internet or bandwidth or can you talk a little bit about who can well, actually have that? Well, um, really, it's as long as you're in an area that's got either like a broadband connection where it be, you know, Comcast, Bright House, Spectrum, um, any of the, the big cable companies that offer internet service, uh, any of those areas there or if they have uh, like Verizon Fios, AT&T, well, they, not the AT&T U-verse because that still runs across copper, but they have AT&T fiber areas now, or if they have Google Fiber. Um, really, it just has to be a high-speed internet connection. You can run it across a DSL uh, service, but you can only run a few telephones across that, and the service may be a little questionable. Uh, so, you know, fast internet service is, is important. Um, also making sure that you have the right equipment within your office to handle it because if you have a large spa where you've got 20 or 30 people, well, then you need to have, you know, the cabling needs to be in there. You have to have the right switches with the right uh, router, which basically says the router is going to handle all the traffic going out to the Internet. Mm -hmm. But it's just not just that traffic. It's also everybody surfing on the Internet, downloading music, or doing other research or downloading patient files through a uh, electronic record system where you need to have uh, prioritization of the data going in and out of the system. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't have that prioritization, you're gonna get call quality drops where you're gonna all of a sudden hear choppiness in the, the voice conversation or it's going to drop out and then just pick up. And that's where a the right type of router that prioritizes 
the voice traffic and says, hey, yeah, you're surfing the internet, your data is not as critical as making sure this voice conversation goes out to the internet and connects with the other person. So it's still going to give you traffic for the data. It's just going to be, and most people would never even recognize the difference in speed, but it's going to make sure that all the voice traffic going out is prioritized so where there is no drop packets, there's no garbled voice or anything like that. Because right now, I'm actually talking across my VoIP system here in my office. Mm -hmm. So it hasn't dropped out, but I have you know an, an enterprise-grade firewall at my office where it it does all this stuff for me. Mm -hmm. So that's that's kind of what's needed to be able to put this type of system in your office. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that was very helpful. But again, if you're not a techie and you kind of got lost a little bit in this conversation, then you can always reach out to Michael later and have him explain it a little bit more. So a lot of people, when we're talking about uh, voice over Internet, are worried about the quality, maybe, of the actual call. Have you, have you any, any problems with that or...? Any issues? Well, well, I've I've been I've used been using VoIP for the past uh, I don't know, five, six, seven years at my office, and um, the issues that I've had is it's been more directed towards the uh, internet provider, and with if they have trouble in the area or there's a a major issue that affects not just me, it affects like a whole state. Uh, we've had issues of that nature. Uh, but as far as the quality itself, when I call my office up in Indiana, it's almost as if I'm there, and actually it sounds so crystal clear that it's like, it's, you know, the old, the old uh, uh, TV commercial, is it Memorex or is it live? And it's really almost to a live experience where I'm right there, I can hear the creakiness in the chair, I can hear the expressions, the size, and everything else on the phone. Mm -hmm. And sometimes with that, that, that's good to be able to hear the customer's size because if they're, if they don't, you know, if they don't hear, if, if the person receiving the phone call doesn't hear that stuff and sees like, ah, then it's like they may not be able to address a concern that, that they would have been able to see that if they were face to face. Right. So it, it gives you, it opens up that, that avenue that where, oh, I heard that sigh. I'm like, okay, well, is that going to be an objection or is that like, oh, they're happy with the, the package that I talked to them about. Mm -hmm. And that helps, you know, tilt to, uh, makes it tilt one way or the other to make a sale or not make a sale or how to deal with turning it from a not sale to a sale. Right. I'll tell you the other thing I really like is the fact that you can take a phone and put it in your house or in another office off location and still operate your business uh, instead of giving people your cell number or making phone calls from your cell and you want to keep uh, people identifying your business. I love that feature where you can actually take a phone and do that. How does that work? That just goes, that blows my mind. How I can have a phone in my condo, wow. make a phone call and still says inspiration management instead of my cell number. Yeah, well, that's that's part of the cloud where the, the the phone itself has the number that it's it's sending to the server, and it no, it doesn't matter where you're sitting at, um, it still sends that information as if you're there in the office, and people can still call you from the office to your home office or in your condo or wherever you at, wherever you're at. You could even put, you know, if you really wanted to, you can put a uh, Wi-Fi dongle in the phones that I use and connect it up to your cell phone and you could be out in the middle of nowhere as long as you've got power to, to power the phone up and you could be sitting there making phone calls right across your cell phone mm -hmm. and still be as if you're in your office right. so, but there's there's also another thing a component of that too there's also a, a mobile app that you can load on your uh, iphone or android and make calls and receive calls just as if you're in the office too so oh. that makes it even more i didn't know fun. i didn't know that yep it's yeah that's a that's a feature there that uh the service i provide it's like they're they're uh, uh formally launching it and everything but there's also a nice little extra caveat with that wow is 
besides that besides that being your office phone number, well, if you say, Dory, you have a private number that comes into your office only that you want to be able to get out, you can now uh, send text messages back and forth from that, that app, just as if you're like, you had your cell phone, and communicate with people back and forth via text messaging. Hmm. Is that going to cost me more money? <laughs> Uh, the uh, I think the inbound text they don't there's no charge for it and then the outbound I think it's 500 500 texts per month I think uh, but then if you go over it it's uh, uh, text messages are usually very very like like sub sub one cent per message. What a, what about the call though the app for my phone? Mm-hmm. What yeah, you can still make phone calls as if you're there at the office and it would show that caller ID to the recipient. Okay, I didn't know you could do that. So maybe yeah. you can tell Tara how to set that up for me on my phone. Okay, I can do that. And also, it's still, and you can still do call recording. So hmm. again, it's like if you got, nice. if you're in a uh, an area of the United States where they get snow and ice and something like that and where they can't get in the office. Well, if your office person has the app on their phone, they're using their home Wi-Fi they could sit there and pull up on the phone and sit there and start making calls to patients saying, hey, we're closed today because of the inclement weather and they don't have to sit there and give out their cell phone number. It's still right. it's calling from the office. Mm-hmm. It still gives that anonymity so where they're not having to do things as if they were, have, they have to be in the office. They can right. now be someplace else to where you, right. know, you have like a schedule. Right. And you know what the problem is? And the problem that we have in the Medispa industry especially, I was just at the AM Spa conference in Chicago, and one of the girls that was talking about how she does consultations, she was an injector. She was a nurse practitioner that did Botox and fillers. And she was just so gung-ho about telling the group how she gives out her cell number to everybody and how she sends them to her own Instagram and they text her and all that stuff and I'm sitting there about having a heart attack because that should never happen. It should be the business phone number. It should be the business text, not personal information. So this would solve all those problems for the Medi Spa owner or a day spa owner that the team does not give out any of their personal numbers. They're giving actually the business number and the business texting opportunities. Exactly. Because if that person ever leaves, well, guess what? You know, that, that they've got that person's cell phone number. She right. can easily take clients with her. And oh, my gosh. We don't want to do with one yeah. Degree. It's like the, <laughs> it's the nightmare of all nightmares because all they have to do, and they yeah. already have them all on Instagram and they're part of their following and and it's just a nightmare. So that's a very good that's point it. you just made. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Okay, so um, walk me through some of the technical things. So how would someone go about actually setting something up like this within their medi spa or day spa well it depends upon how large of a uh, of an office uh, or spa it would be going into if it's something small then uh, it's just a matter of you know for me and my, with my service it's like i would just be able to send a phone to you once you plug it into power plug it into an internet connection it'll um, automatically pull all of its configuration, the logo and everything that goes on the phone, and everything that we already pre-set up, it would automatically be set up. Now, if it's a larger office where you've got, you know, we had to go look at like cabling and stuff like that, uh, that would be a little bit more um, uh, involved because we want to make sure that we're going into a, a good environment where if you're already kind of having network kind of glitches every once in a while and you say, well, we've got to go reboot the router again, then that's going to be something where we need to uh, either partner with somebody or if, if you're here in Florida, I would love to come visit you. Uh, but if you're outside of that area, we would, we would, we would work, with, work something out where we can get somebody in there to help us uh, get things uh, rolled out and uh, put into your spawn. Well, the nice because thing the about... 
the nice thing about Medi Spas and Spas Michael is that basically all the phone systems are basically at the reception area and then they usually have one in the team lounge and then maybe one in the spa director or Medi Spa director office because they don't all you know you're not going to have phones in the treatment rooms or uh, any of the places where they're actually doing treatments so it should be pretty simple uh, set up considering that they don't have phones in offices in, in treatment rooms right and that's something that, that with even with even if they have still have like uh, cordless uh, 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 analog phones those could easily be hooked onto the new systems to where it's still as if they're there but it still it, it uses the VoIP technology so you can still have the greeting, you can still have the call recording and everything as if and still not real and, and not have to do a lot of uh, replacing your system. So if all your telephone and internet comes into one room, well, it's real easy to be able to have one little box there that your phone lines plug into that box, get their extensions off of them, mm -hmm. even though it's it's not a whole phone system, but still it's there and if your system if power ever goes out, it can still reroute to the owner's cell phones where the calls can be uh, answered and everything. Right. So, yeah, smaller ones, that would work out just fine, too. So, now, I know how much, you know, I'm paying, but can you share with the group what is the difference between, like, switching from their uh, AT&T now or whatever system they have into doing something like this? Yeah, the, the cost involved with it... Um, they are, well, I mean, if you're, say you're going from an AT&T from a regular landline system, uh, most of the AT&T lines are roughly right around 50 to $60 a month for the line. And I've seen some people that are even paying for long distance on those lines too. Whereas going with a system like I have, it's uh, what we do is we charge $30 a month. And it's uh, that includes, if you need, if you actually need a desk phone, we supply the desk phone as part of that $30. That's unlimited calling throughout the United States. That's uh, voicemail, uh, any voicemail messages that you do receive after hours, they're sent to you via an email message. Uh, it also includes all the auto, auto, automated attendance that you need for setting up your spa to, to answer after hours for holidays for basically any kind of situation. Uh, that's all set up within the user dashboard. And the only other costs that are involved is just a, an installation cost and a, uh, a per number uh, cost for each telephone number, and that's just $2 a month. Mm -hmm. Plus, of course, you have to pay all the sales tax and federal excise, and the, you know, Big Brother's got to get their portion, too. Do the rates vary that's from that. company to company that you go with? Uh, yeah, I mean, so, some companies are more expensive, some are some or less, it's just a matter of, you know, it's like, it's, you have to deal with somebody that you want to, that, back to selling, it's like, you want to sell, you know, people like to deal, deal with people they know, like, and trust, mm -hmm. and sometimes with the big companies, it's like, yeah, you get this person, it's like, oh yeah, we got cheap, the thing is, if you ever have a problem, you're calling into a call center, and not really getting what you need, whereas with my service, you're calling into our support people and sometimes you may actually get me and I sit there and look at what the business needs to get how 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 the system will function best within their company because I'm a small business owner myself and I, I, I take that knowledge and that mentorship that I do and I sit there and apply it to each business that I'm interacting with so where I can apply it to make sure that they're going to get you know the best the best system and use it to the best of the abilities to keep their clients happy and sell more products mm -hmm. yes well I have to tell you I mean I have not uh, my phone bill is about the same it's a little bit less actually from what we were paying before for our business and just the benefits that we talked about and how it's helping me manage the business so much better more than it's just it's amazing it has totally transformed the way we do training with the phone calls coming in 
to the conversion that I mes uh, mentioned. And really the reason I wanted to invite you here today is because I find it to be such a valuable tool. And if I'm, and I call so many medi spas and day spas and wellness centers, and when I call in and notice how poorly these phone calls, first of all, are being handled, how I'm being on hold with no message, how they're not tracking their effectiveness, they have no idea where the calls are coming from or if they're paying off for them. They don't know if their marketing is working. And I mean, the list goes on for all the problems that somebody could be having, that all these problems will go away with as simple as just changing a phone system i mean it's mind-blowing frankly <laughs> it's just it's crazy yeah. and not have to spend yeah. any more yeah. money <laughs> yeah and the thing is is one of the things that i did, didn't hear there is what if a customer calls you and gets, gets a busy signal how soon where do they go from there it's like oh well this is a spot here oh let me just go to this call this next fall right underneath them in the right. yellow pages and call them well the system it's like it depending upon what type of phones you get in there the phones have the capability of taking as many phone calls as you can as you can handle because it's not limited to like AT&T if you've got the old landlines well oh I've got four business AT&T lines well guess what with the new system if you had say you had eight phones you could sit there and have eight people on on the phone you could have eight people on hold and you could have eight more people calling in at the same time so instead of going from you know, four lines to eight, you're actually going to almost, you know, mm -hmm. uh, 30, 24 to 32 simultaneous phone calls that could be happening at the same time where you can't do that with the old traditional systems. Right. Well, that's a very good point. We didn't even talk about that. Yeah, yeah. They, they have the good old rollover, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, the thing is you don't have a bunch of telephone numbers, so it's like when you call out, you're, they're always seeing your main telephone number. Right. They're not seeing... Oh, this is line two, line three, line four. Yeah. It's all always the main number. Well, you know what I love about it is because I and I hope that, you know, the listeners would really look into this because all the clients that we do done for me marketing with, uh, you know, where we do a lot of their project, their website updates, newsletters and all that. I would love to be able to start using these phone numbers so we can track the effectiveness of all these different campaigns that we do and I really want to encourage um, everyone to look into this and see how it can truly transform your business you know I'm not here to sell you I could care less whether you change your phone system or not it's up to you but the reason I'm doing this interview because I know what kind of impact it will have on your business to be able to monitor phone calls, train the team, uh, track the marketing effectiveness, see what the conversion rate is. And if you don't know these things, then you're not really maximizing on those phone calls that are coming in and you're missing out on big, big opportunities. So this is coming from my heart. I know I made the switch because I felt it benefits my business and that's the reason why I switched to the system. So I'm asking you to do the same thing. I'm asking you if you want to improve your business, you really need to give Michael a call or somebody you know that you trust and that you like that offers this kind of service and definitely learn about it and then see how it can totally change your business and help you grow you know more effectively that's really what my goal is behind this phone call behind this interview that I'm doing so Michael how would somebody learn more or um, I know that you're gonna offer uh, folks a complimentary um, assessment or a complimentary strategic call or something yes um, if they would if they want to get a hold of me I have a website it's uh, nextgentelecom.net and uh, if you want to reach out to me directly, my email address is michael at nextgentelecom.net, uh, or you can give me a call at my office here at 863-333-9775. Uh, um, and I would love to, you know, just talk to you about your telephone needs. It's, you know, it's like, I'm like Dory. It's like, I, I want to sit there and help people, and I want to help them with technology, 
whether or not you get it from me or you get it from somebody else, at least I can help guide you and make sure that you're making the right decisions to implement it. And, you know, it's like I'm here to help. It's like my passion is to help small businesses. I, I do it with VoIP telephones. I also do I, IT services. And I want to help people because technology is this big thing that some people don't understand where I want to sit there and help help them to understand it and how they can apply it to their business and, and basically make more money mm-hmm. and help clients. Yeah, very good. So I have a question here coming in. Uh, this is from Ken. And he's asking, how long do the messages stay on? Uh, well, with, with my site, I can't speak for other services, but for mine, uh, all the messages are all archived on an Amazon web server uh, indefinitely. So as long as you're a client of mine, they're, they're archived indefinitely. Okay. So I have another question here. This is from Sandra. And Sandra is asking about the process. Like, how do you find out which call to download or how to monitor different phone calls? Is there an easy way to find the type of phone call you're looking for? Uh, Yes, there's a dashboard that each user has uh, access to uh, to be able to search for if you know what time it came in or what day it was or the uh, to the caller the caller's telephone number is and it has a complete listing of all the call history and then on the right hand side there's a, a little button there that you can actually listen to it right there on the web page and if you find the one that you're looking for you can then click on another button and it will download it to your local computer as a mp3 file mm-hmm. so it's very very search friendly that as long as you know part of it and it's like well I know the part, last four digits were 5858 okay well I can go in here and search on that telephone number that came in or that called this specific number if you have multiple numbers mm-hmm. um, they want you to repeat your contact information one more time please okay it's uh, my website is next gen telecom and that's with just any X G-E-N, then telecom.net, and my email address is michael at nextgentelecom.net, and my office number here is 863-333-9779. Great. Any last words of wisdom you'd like to share? Um, well, I, I guess let me, let me actually just get on my own little soapbox here for a second. The, the systems that I do, um, I actually I sell my systems and I do no contracts. So if you are looking for a system for me or from another provider, uh, don't. I'm one of these people, it's like, I don't like contracts. I don't allow, I don't want my clients to have to sign contracts for my phone service. And it's like, if, you know, if, if it's a, if it's good service, I'm, I'm, I'm winning your service every single month because mm-hmm. I want to make sure that you're getting good service and that you like it because I want you to, you know, be using me for forever. And that's one thing. It's like, you know, I've never, I don't have contracts and I provide all the equipment so there's no upfront uh, cost except for the installation. And I want to make it easy. I want to get past that, that, that hurdle of, of, of getting the, the barrier of entry to get into a VoIP telephone system. Right. I see the, the benefits of it. Yes. So I'll get off my soapbox there for a second. <laughs> no, but that's very important because we're the same way with our memberships. I mean, whether it's marketing, uh, whether it's the Diamond, Diamond Plus or whatever, I mean, all we ask for is a 60-day notice because we work usually on marketing two months in advance. And um, that's the way to operate. And that, that tells me that, you know, when somebody offers that, they're confident in what they offer and they know that it works. And that's why I decided, frankly, to take the chance and switch. And I'm just so happy that I switched because of all the benefits that I'm gaining right now from it. And you just told me I could use my cell phone now too, which is great. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> you better you better get a hold of Tara and get that set up for me. <laughs> oh, I will. Yeah. yeah it's, it's actually very easy to get set up. Well, good. Well, thank you so much, Mike, for Michael, for all your wisdom and knowledge and helping members of our community uh, take a look at this and consider it and see how much more it would benefit their business. I have, I know you're busy, and I thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today. You're welcome, Dory. And, and, and any time I can help you, just give me a call. Thank you. My pleasure. All right, you guys, our next Coach Me expert is going to be uh, next month with Dr. Shatkin. He's a plastic surgeon up in uh, Buffalo, New York, and he actually started a new division to his company where he actually teaches uh, professionals like yourself how to do medical treatments. So I'm helping him um, teach everybody on what treatment demands are popular now, uh, what type of courses are available, what kind of certifications are available for you to be able to offer new type of medispa treatments or aesthetic treatments, uh, how to market those new skills that you get certified for and how to make, uh, how to avoid mistakes that are costly by choosing the wrong people to help train you. So I'm super excited that Dr. Shatkin is gonna be with us. He's actually a um, inspiration management client. We helped him publish his book. He came to the book writing seminar and now he's a published author. And uh, he also is a Leap Ahead graduate and uh, we also help him with his marketing. So I'm super excited that he's gonna be with us and share his knowledge and expertise with you. Again, Michael, thank you so much for being with us. You guys have a great rest of the month. God bless and stay inspired. Mm -hmm.